we might have come across with the several use of Android emulators. We normally use Android emulators for playing Android games in Android apps. There are so many Android emulators to see in a market, it is really difficult to know which one is better. Every Android emulator has some special features inside it. Depending upon speed, performance, hardware acceleration, smooth experience and many others. We will be testing in this video top 5 best Android emulators based on speed, performance, graphics and FPS. Coming at number 5, here we have Game Loop Android Emulator. This is such a powerful Android emulator which is specially designed for gaming purpose. If you are a game lover, then this emulator is really best suitable for you. It is a freeware program, you need nothing to pay for it. It has been recently updated to version 1.0.01. The main interface of Game Loop is really awesome. On the main screen you have Game Center, My Games and Life. In a Game Center, it will show you the most recommended latest games and apps. If you scroll down a little bit, you will see your favorite gaming apps and other applications. In a My Games section, it will show you your installed games. In a live portion, you can also go live and stream your favorite games in this global gaming world. You can even browse your favorite games on this gaming category which you wanna play. In Game Loop, you can also configure settings in this emulator. In a engine of this emulator, depending upon your system specs and hardware compatibility, if you have super fast PC, you must select OpenGL. It will give you excellent performance but will give you poor stability if you have lower PC specs. Select DirectX if your PC is slow. You can also select processor speed resolution and then click on save. Game loop has no root feature but this is such a powerful gaming android emulator. Coming at number 4 on this list here we have Nox android emulator. I personally found this emulator to be such a powerful emulator especially for gamings and other android apps. It has been recently updated to Nox 7.0.08 sports android 7. The main interface looks very awesome. This emulator comes with a google play store so you can access all of your favorite play store apps and games on this emulator. It has a built-in browser which is very fast in browsing. In the tools portion, you will see bunch of options including settings, gallery, camera, play store and many others. It also has its own app center where you'll find your favorite gaming and other apps including feature. In this category, you can find all of your gaming categories. In any gaming category, if you select, you will find huge list of latest and updated games. On the right side of this emulator, like other Android emulators, it has a lot of features to see, including full screen key mapping feature. In a key mapping feature of Nox, you can assign keys for your desired preference. Whether you are on a keyboard or using game controller, you can increase up decrease down the volume. It also has a file assistant feature so you can easily transfer your PC files to Android in a single click. External APK installation. You can install any external APK directly here on this emulator. Nox supports multiple instance feature so you can access multiple apps simultaneously on Nox. To access multiple instance feature, you need to go to this multi instance manager window. Before adding multiple window, you can do some configurations. In the multi instance settings, you can adjust the frame rates for the newly formed multiple window. You can even enable or disable sounds. You can change the resolution settings and then save settings. Last step, we need to click on this four dots icon. Here we have Android 5 and Advanced Android 7. Official Android 5 is really best for the best performance. If you have low specs, PC, I will recommend Android 5. While on the other hand, Android 7 is more powerful and advanced, compatible with all the latest Android games and apps. If you have a powerful PC, then my recommendation will be Android 7. My PC is powerful with latest Nvidia graphics and higher system specs, so I will select here Android 7. Then new instance will be created on multi instance manager window. Then on the start play icon, when we click, 
new instance will be open. In this way, we can access multiple instance windows simultaneously on Nox. We can also take screenshots in Nox. In this three dots icon horizontally, if we click, we see some additional features including enabling location, screen recording, orientation change of the screen, and many others. In Nox, you can even apply your favorite theme. You can even use your customized wallpaper in these themes. If you are Nox user, then you must know about the configuration settings of Nox. In system settings, you will see bunch of settings options, including general settings, performance settings, game settings, and many others. In general settings, one of the features that I personally like is root feature. When you enable root settings, when you save it, it will ask you about restart. After restart, your Nox emulator will be rooted. In this way, you can access all of the rooted Android apps and games in Nox emulator. Language change option includes in Nox, so you can set your desired language in Nox. You can increase up or decrease down the performance settings in Nox. But make sure here you need to select any option depending upon your system specs. Overall, I must say this is really a great Android emulator to use. It is a freeware software. You can use it for your individual or any personal use. Before using Nox emulator, make sure you must read some of the system specs before installation of Nox on your PC. Coming at number 3, here we have ND Android emulator. This is such a powerful Android emulator with built-in antivirus. ND interface seems exactly like an Android phone, containing all of the necessary elements like normally Android smartphone contains. ND comes with a built-in Play Store, so you can access all of your favorite Android games and apps. On ND, on a quick tap icon, when you tap, there is settings option. In these settings, we can have all of the settings like normal Android phone has. It has a context, gallery, maps, camera like a normal Android phone. And this thing makes ND unique from the other Android emulators. You can also change wallpaper in ND. If you click on menu, then in a wallpaper, you can change it to any wallpaper that you like. You can also apply custom wallpaper in Andy. Andy has a full screen option. You can also change orientation in Andy from horizontal to vertical or vertical to horizontal. One of the great thing I personally like on Andy. You can also apply any widget on main screen of Andy like we normally apply on Android mobile device. Andy has a built-in key mapping feature for Android gaming which can be adjusted in a manual or automatic manner and microphone sporting ability. Andy is freeware, you can use it for any individual or any personal use. Before using Andy, make sure you must read some of its system requirements. Coming at number 2, here we have BlueStakes, which is such a powerful indoor emulator, competing all other indoor emulators for last 10 years. It has been recently updated to version 4.26. This update is quite amazing. It has made BlueStakes even more stable. I feel that BlueStakes is even more faster and powerful than all other previous versions. It has a built-in play store like other indoor emulators. BlueStakes has updated its game center. It contains a huge collection of variety of Android games which are ready to install on your PC. On the right side of BlueStakes screen, where you will see a vertical bar consisting all of the important features including increased volume up, decreasing volume down, installation of external APKs, screenshot and many others. BlueStakes has its play and win for gift cards, so you can claim these rewards anytime in the reward center. Here in the menu icon, in the settings, you will find bunch of settings option. You may even customize these settings to your desired preference. You can also change skin of your blue stakes as you want. If you think your blue stakes is lacky on your system, blue stakes give us a solution to fix these issues. Here in the menu at the bottom, you will see some speed up tips. Read and follow all of them if you think your blue stakes is laggy. If you face any problem while using blue stakes, then you need to go to the help and support center where you can post your query. Blue stakes supports multiple instances so you can access several apps simultaneously. To avoid lagging while using multiple screens, there is an eco mode. You have to enable it, which will fix lagging issues while accessing several windows simultaneously. So this is highly recommended while using BlueStakes. If you wanna install BlueStakes on your PC, then you must read some of the basic
basic system requirements of Bluesticks before installation of Bluesticks on your system. Coming at number 1, here we have Mimo Android Emulator. This is one of the best, smoothest, fastest and powerful Android emulator in the market. It has been recently updated to Mimo version 7.3.3. Mimo has been competing Bluesticks and Nox for the last couple of years. Now in my opinion, now it is one of the best, smoothest and powerful Android emulator for gaming and all other apps. Like all other Android emulators, Mimo is fully loaded with Play Store so you can access all of your favorite Android games and apps. In a Mimo, in a Windows settings, here you can even fix size. You can fix landscape if you face some apps running in a vertical screen size. You can also use full screen mode, key mapping feature to customize the keys, installation of external APKs, multiple instances so you can run multiple windows simultaneously, volume up and down, your location and many other features. Down below settings icon, you will see three dots horizontally. When you will click, you will see some additional features including screen shaking, screenshot, screen screen recording and many others. The hanging gift icon on Mimo will lead towards some of the most recommended gaming apps which is recommended by Mimo emulator. If you go to the multiple instance manager window, here you can see that Mimo can support Android 7.1 which is the recommended version by Mimo. You can also use previous Android version 4.4, 5.1 but my recommendation is Android 7.1 as it supports all of the latest Android games and apps. You need to click on it, it will generate that that instance then after you need to click on start then it will start loading then after you will see new windows so in this way we can use multiple instance windows on Mimo without any lag in a menu icon when we click we have settings options inside these settings we have a lot of settings option in a display settings we can even increase or decrease the frame rates. One of the great thing I personally found in Mimo, we can also root Mimo, so we can access all of the rooted apps on Mimo. To get that in the system settings in engine, you have to turn on root mode, then hit the OK button. Then you need to restart Mimo. After restart, Mimo will be rooted. You can download and install Mimo on your PC. It is absolutely free to install. But before installation, make sure you must check the system requirements. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys like it. Give the thumbs up if you really like this video. If I have missed any other Android emulator that we must try out, let me know in the comment section. Subscribe our channel and press the bell notification icon.